In this video, I'm going to be sharing some tips that will make sure you're storing your soft plastics properly. Now, soft plastics, they're made out of different materials depending on the brand. So if you mix those plastics together, what can happen is you'll end up with a mess like this. As you can see, this is a mixture of different types of soft plastics. I have some Z-Man lures in there along with some of our lures, which are made out of a different material. And when you mix those two different materials together, you're gonna end up with a mess like that when they're left out in the heat or direct sunlight. And also if they're just touching each other in packaging or in a uh, container such as this. So first let's talk about the materials and sort of understand the difference between the different materials out there. So first you have your standard soft plastics, which is gonna be made out of like a PVC or plastisol material, such as our lures that we sell here at Salt Strong, and also, you know, DOA, Zoom, Saltwater Assassin, Bass Assassin, a lot of companies use the PVC and plastisol. And then there's another material, which Z-Man you will notice is made out of, and it's that very soft, stretchy material. Also, it could be uh, more of a dense material. It's the same plastic material, but it's a little bit more dense, such as Savage Gear. Some of your pre-rig lures will also be made out of that TPE material. And what you need to really avoid is mixing the two together. So you don't want to mix Plastisol or PVC lures with TPE lures, because again, they will react with each other. And also, they can actually react with the plastic containers or plastic trays. So what I really recommend doing is just keeping them in their original packaging. And if you do happen to store them in some of these plastic trays, I know some companies do make trays that have some type of material they're made out of that will keep the plastics from melting. But if you do store them, make sure you store them separately. So store your TPE lures aside from your regular Plastisol or PVC lures. And then the last material I wanna talk about is Gulp. Gulp products are made out of sort of their own uh, class of material here. Gulp absorbs liquid. So they have to be stored in the liquid that they come in in the packaging. So if you buy some of the containers, you'll notice they're in a liquid there. So keep them inside the liquid and also you can purchase gulp in packaging and you'll notice there's a little bit of liquid in the packaging as well. So you definitely need to make sure that they're stored properly and they are in that liquid or else they're, they will dry out. Now, if they do happen to dry out, you can bring them back to life by soaking them back in the juice that they came in. So hopefully these tips can help you out when it comes to storing your soft plastics. Again, I prefer to keep them in their original packaging. Also, I don't like to uh, mix colors because the colors can bleed into each other, again, depending on the material. So the safe bet is to just keep them in their original packaging and then you can put the smaller packages in something like a big Ziploc bag or they do sell some worm binders that you could put the packages in as well. Now, if you are interested in any of these lures, we do sell the majority of these on our shop page. We carry Z-Man products. We have our own line of soft plastics as well, as well as Savage Gear, DOA, many products to choose from. And if you are one of our insider members, keep in mind you do get an exclusive discount on all tackle and gear. So definitely be sure to take advantage of that. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them down below. Also, if you have any additional tips you would like to share when it comes to storing your soft plastic lures, definitely let us know in the comments down below.